So let's try example 4. In this example, we are going to find the absolute minimum and maximum of the function f of x, y on the disk given by x squared plus y squared is less than or equal to 1. Now the disk given by this inequality x squared plus y squared is less than or equal to 1 represents a circle with a radius r and then centered at the origin. So the equation of a circle with radius r and then centered at the origin is given by x squared plus y squared equals r squared. Now assuming that you want to change this inequality sign to an equal to sign, then you have x squared plus y squared equals 1. Okay, and then 1 can as well be represented as 1 square. Therefore, you realize that we have the radius r to be equal to 1. Therefore, we are able to realize that this is an equation of a circle which is centered at the origin and has a radius of 1. Therefore, we try to draw this circle. We try to represent this circle graphically. We consider this to be the y-axis and then the x-axis. And this is the origin. That is the point zero zero. So we have the radius to be 1, which means that the distance from the origin to a certain mark here should be 1. And thus we have the same on, on all four axes, that is positive x, positive y, negative x, and then negative y. And thus we can draw the circle. So this circle has a radius of 1. Now x squared plus y squared is less than 1 represents the interior of the region, the inside section of this region, of this circle. And then x squared plus y squared equals 1 represents the boundary of the circle. It represents the boundary of the circle. Now to find the absolute minimum and maximum of this function, we are going to find the critical point and then we make sure that the critical point is found in this region so that we can evaluate the value of the function at the critical point. So let's try to find the critical point. So to find the critical point, we need to find fx and then fy. Now we have fx to b, we differentiate this with respect to x, we have 6x squared and then this goes to 0. And then for fy, we differentiate this, we have 0, we differentiate y to the power 4, and that gives y, sorry, gives 4y cube. It gives 4y cube. So the next thing is we are going to set each of them to 0. And then you realize that on the left hand side, on the left hand side, or considering fx, the only way we can get the left hand side to be equal to 0 is when x is equal to 0. So we have x to be equal to 0. Also for fy, the only way we can get the left hand side to be equal to 0 is when y is also equal to 0. So we have y to be equal to 0. Therefore, we have our critical point or the critical point to be the point 0, 0, which is the origin. So you realize that the critical point is found inside of the circle, inside of the region. Hence, we need to evaluate or we need to find the value of the function at that point. So we have f of 0, 0. And that's equal to, considering this function, we have 2 times 0 cube plus 0 to the power 4. And that's simply 0. Now, at this point, we don't know whether this is an absolute minimum or maximum. We don't know what this value describes. So let's move on as we try to find the extreme values on the boundary of this circle. Now to do so, you realize that we have, I mean, the equation of the circle that is given by x squared plus y squared equals 1. Since we are going to consider the boundary of the circle, we are going to focus on this equation. So that is given by x squared plus y squared equals 1. And that's we can make one of the variables the subject. So we can say y square is equal to 1 minus x square. And then y should be equal to plus or minus the square root of 1 minus x square. Now we have f of x, sorry, f of xy 
to be equal to this function thus instead of putting y into this function we are going to put y square rather into this function so we are going to have 2x cube plus here we have y to the power 4 so we are going to have y square and then into bracket square so that becomes plus 1 minus x square or square now let's try to expand this so we are going to have 2x cube plus 1 times 1 is 1 1 times negative x square is negative x square negative x square times 1 is negative x square so that becomes negative 2x square and then negative x square times negative x square that becomes plus x to the power 4 so we can rearrange this so that we have x to the power 4 plus 2x cube minus 2x square and then plus 1 so this is f of xy now notice that at this point we have a function of only one variable that is x so we can simply say that this is equal to f of x and then we have plus or minus the square root of 1 minus x square indirectly we've been able to substitute y for x in this function so here we have a function of only one variable now we need to find the derivative of this function and then we set that to zero so we are going to have f prime of x plus or minus 1 minus x square and that's equal to so we differentiate this with respect to x and then we have 4x cube plus this becomes 6x square minus 4x and when you differentiate this it goes to zero and then we set that to zero now at this point we have common factors so let's try to factor out now the greatest common factor here is 2x so we can have this to be 2x inside of the bracket we divide 4x cubed by 2x and then you have 2x squared plus here that becomes 3x and then here becomes negative 2 and that's equal to 0 therefore therefore we have 2x equals 0 and then you divide through by 2 and then you have x to be equal to 0 so we have x equals 0 and then for the expression in the bracket we multiply the coefficient of x square by the coefficient of the constant and then we have negative 4 so we want two numbers that when you multiply you have negative 4 but when you add you have 3 so we have 1 4 and then 2 2 so we can make this negative 1 and then plus 4 therefore we are going to have this expression to be 2x square plus 4x minus x minus 2 equals 0 so we have 2x into bracket x plus 2 minus 1 into bracket x plus 2 equals 0 so we have 2x minus 1 and then x plus 2 equals 0 at this point we have 2x equals 1 we divide through by 2 we have x to be equal to 1 over 2 and then we have x plus 2 equals 0 x is equal to negative 2 so we have x equals 0 or x equals 1 over 2 or x equals negative 2 now looking at this region you realize that we don't have negative 2 negative 2 is outside of this region hence we can't deal with negative 2 we need to exclude that so we are not looking out for this so we're going to consider x equals 0 x equals 1 over 2 now for x equals 0 so we have the function we have the function f of x comma plus or minus the square root of 1 minus x square and that is given by this expression so x to the power 4 plus 2x cubed minus 2x squared plus 1 now when x is equal to 0 we have the function to be f of 0 
plus or minus when you put zero here we have one minus zero and then square root of one is one and that's equal to we have zero to the power four plus two times zero cube minus two times zero square plus one so you realize that this goes to one this becomes one so we simply write one here and then when x is equal to 1 over 2 then we have f of now when x is equal to 1 over 2 let's do that here so we are going to have f of 1 over 2 so we are going to have f of 1 over 2 comma now this side we have plus or minus the square root of 1 minus 1 over 2 or square now that becomes 1 square is 1 2 square is 4 so it simply becomes 1 1 over 4 now 1 minus 1 over 4 that is 3 over 4 and then you want to use the principle of indices to apply the square roots to 3 and then 4 now you realize that this can also be expressed as the square root of 3 divided by 2 because when you have square root of 4 that is equal to 2 therefore you have plus or minus square root of 3 over 2 so that becomes square root of 3 divided by 2 so we are going to put this in here so that becomes half plus or minus root 3 over 2 so half plus or minus root 3 over 2 and that's equal to so we are going to fix x equals 1 over 2 in this function we are going to have 1 over 2 raised to the power 4 plus 2 times 1 over 2 raised to the power 3 minus 2 times 1 over 2 raised to the power 2 plus 1 so we are going to have this to be equal to this becomes 1 over 16 this becomes 1 over 8 times 2 so that becomes so the 2 reduces the 8 to 4 so it becomes 1 over 4 minus this is 1 over 4 times negative 2 that becomes 1 over 2 and then plus 1 so we are going to have the LCM to be 16 16 divided by 16 is 1 1 times 1 is 1 16 divided by 4 is 4 4 times 1 is 4 16 divided by 2 is 8 8 times 1 is 8 plus 16 divided by 1 is 16 16 times 1 is 16 so here you realize that we are going to have negative 8 plus 16 is 8 so 8 plus 4 is 12 plus 1 is 13 so we are going to have 13 over 16 so that is given by f of half plus or minus root 3 over 2 so that is 13 over 16 now also remember that we have the x interval to be negative 1 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 1 that is given by the end point negative 1 0 and then 1 0 so considering the original function that is f of x y equals 2 x q plus y to the power 4 we can have f of negative 1 0 that's equal to 2 times negative 1 cube plus 0 to the power 4 now this is equal to negative 2 and then f of 1 0 that is also equal to 2 times 1 cube plus 0 to the power 4 and this becomes 2 therefore out of the values that we have 0 negative 2 2 1 and then 13 over 16 which of them is the highest now the highest value is 2 therefore we say that the absolute the absolute maximum absolute maximum value is equal to 2 and occurs it occurs at which point the point 1 0 now let's look out for the least value 
the least value is is negative two that's the least value so we have the absolute minimum value to be negative two and that also occurs at the point negative one zero so that's it for today's video thanks for watching and see you in my next video bye bye